beautiful souls. Today, I'm bringing you guys a very simple, easy, and absolutely delicious pork neck bone and chicken soup or stew with a nice crispy chicken skin over the top with some microgreens, um, garnished with extra cilantro. I love cilantro. This was an absolutely delicious meal, you guys. It was so hearty, perfect for the season. So let's get into the ingredients. You're gonna need fresh pork neck bones, chicken thighs, you're gonna remove the skin from the chicken thighs and I actually cut my chicken thighs in half. Then you're gonna need potatoes, carrots, bell peppers, onion, garlic, cilantro, scotch bonnets, thyme, and bay leaves. Please omit the um, scotch bonnets if you don't like spicy food. You'll need tomato and lemon juice, seasoning, salt, black pepper, herb seasoning, paprika, ground ginger, ground allspice, and garlic powder. You're going to need coconut milk. I had coconut powder on hand, so that's what I used. And pumpkin soup seasoning. Then you're also going to need beans. Butter beans and black beans is what I use. Use whatever beans you like, whatever meats you like as well. And seasoning. You can just follow the format of this and still use what you like. Mix your seasonings together. You're going to sift out the noodles from the pumpkin mix. We're not using the noodles. And you're going to mix that with your um, coconut milk or coconut milk powder. Go ahead on a medium high heat. Season and brown your meat. And we're going to get that nice and golden brown. You want that flavor to be infused into the oil. Bring out the flavors in the meat. I've um, removed the pork neck bones from the pot once it's nice and brown. I did those first. And then I did my chicken. You're going to do the same thing. Brown your chicken. Remove it from the pot. Add your veggies back to that pot and saute for 10 minutes. Just mix that on up. Mix it on up. And all that goodness at the bottom of the pot is going to you know, uh, flavor the water. You're gonna add your tomato sauce and your tomatoes. Add your lemon juice. Give that a good stir. And then you're gonna go ahead and add your pork neck bones. We're cooking that first before we add in the chicken thighs because this is gonna take longer to cook. Give that a good mix. And then you're going to cover your pork neck bones with just enough water just to cover it. That's, that is all you need, okay? Because we're making a nice thick soup. Add more seasonings, bring to a boil. Cover and cook for one to one and a half hours on low to medium heat. Uncover, add pumpkin soup mix and coconut milk or powder mix well. I added more cilantro. You don't have to do that. I just really love the taste of cilantro. Add whatever herbs uh, you like. I also added more seasoning. Give that a good mix. Cover that back up. This is still within the one to one and a half hour time frame, just so you know. And then after one and a half to one hour, we're gonna add in our chicken thighs and let this cook for another uh, hour and a half or so. So we add in our black beans now with the chicken, give that a good mix. Now with the chicken skins, this is very optional. You can thaw just chicken skins or you can air fry them um, in, the, in the air fry. I was on 400 degrees until nice and crispy. And then you'll have this delicious pot of pork neck bone and chicken thigh soup. The flavors, the allspice flavors were coming through nicely. The meat was nice and tender, you guys. It was so tender. And the soup was just infused with all those amazing seasonings. You could taste the ginger. You could taste some pumpkin. You could taste some coconut. You could taste the herbs in it. Just, uh, just an absolutely delicious meal. With that chicken skin, added a nice um, textural difference to the meal. I love chicken, um, crispy chicken skin. And yeah, that's it. That's all. Let me know if you guys enjoyed the comments down below. And have a blessed day. Mwah.